Louis Delatraz closing on the leader again, 2.4 seconds back. Also in contention here in third place, Paul De Resta in the 23 United Autosports car. Fourth overall is the LMP2 Pro-Am leader, but remember, those cars owe us pit stops. It's a matter of how quickly they can get in and out without fault yes. into, into and out of pit lane. It has to be soon. Well, they're likely to be very, very quick stops as well. Is that it's a change. Getting it's ahead a change, it was. That's a change, and that uh, will determine the fate of the LMP2 Pro-Am. <laughs> so Mathieu Vaxavier has maybe benefited from an error from Matthias Besch. What was his last lap like? Besch did a 134.8. 134.5. I think he just. I think he air. just. I think he just got to move on him. Yeah. And he's he's built that gap now. Still, these two cars leading LMGT3. Iron Dames, Michelle Gattig, Andrea Caldarelli, Iron Links, Porsche, Lamborghini, pink car, green car. But the one to worry about is the yellow car, and that is Kessel Racing back in fifth place. Daniel Serra one more position and whatever happens with these two and he's secure in a championship winning position but if the green Lamborghini manages to get by this pink Porsche it would take the title mesmerizingly tough to get on top of this Serra's fifth place would not be enough if Caldarelli got ahead of Gatting, put the Lamborghini into the lead, because that's a huge gain for the Lambo of seven points. Besh and Vazavier at turn 13 under review, forcing off track. It's not done there either. So that's the two championship rivals who are involved in the same incident that are now under review. And it's going to be so important which way that one goes, kind of regardless of who finishes ahead of who. Is it going to be a first win in a championship for an all-female crew? Is it going to be a first win in a championship, ACO Wheels Championship, for a Lamborghini? Or is it going to be Kessel Racing and the Ferrari coming home as the winners here in this first ever European Le Mans Series LMGT3 Championship? It will be the first LMGT3 Championship win because we're not done yet with... Um, yes, we are done, of course. We, uh, we had the win for Porsche. It's already in the bag. Alex Quinn now WC. in his last life for abusive track limits. Warning, so that'll be four. Ten minutes to go. What is the gap for the LMP3 battle? Four tenths of a second. Gail Julian has caught Ad, uh, Adam Ali. Manuel Espirito Santo looks set to take the race win for Cool Racing with another stellar run. And there is Gail Julian up the inside. This could be it here and now. He's done. He's do got the move done cleanly. Beautifully done. And he's in amongst the LMP2 Pro Ams. And I'm not sure Adam Ali's got much to respond with there. Got the crucial inside line. There was definitely some contact, but it was already his corner by that point. So Gael Julian just eased the number 11 car a little bit wider towards the kerb to ensure he could get through. And this car has been really in the groove on a tear since, since Gael Julian took it over up to second position. And with that, the championship lead. Unreal stuff from Gael Julian. Unreal stuff all season from your international. That would have been a 44th championship win, but I don't think it's going to go their way unless something goes horribly wrong for Gail Julien. We saw just a couple of seasons ago the championship settled with a clash between Inter Europol and a GT car in the last 15 minutes. we into into the last nine. So two points was the gap, 11 to 15 at the start of the day. And all of a sudden, RLRM Sports Car has gained three points in comparison to the 11. So that will mean it leapfrogs not only the Team Virage number eight car, who are ending their season fairly badly, slipping down to sixth place, but it vaults them ahead of Euro International. AO by TF having a late stop again. We would have expected that. So it's not a huge concern. I think everybody else is likely to come in one more time, depending on how much fuel save Malta Jakobsen is currently in. So, as things stand, 
Oh, I don't know. <laughs> LMP2. We have no clue. LMP2 Pro Am. <laughs> We've got AF Corsa in a championship winning position, but under review for driving standards, as are uh, the 29 TDS car, also in championship contention. LMP3, as things stand, RLRM Sport take it with a move for the lead inside the last 10 minutes. Not for the lead, rather, for second place in the last 10 minutes between the two championship leading cars. LMGT3, it's one of three at this stage. It could be the lead car at the moment uh, for the Iron Dames, the number 85 car. It, uh, but uh, uh, that, no, sorry, it wouldn't be the Iron Dames as things stand. It would be the Kessel Racing car, but... If the Lamborghini passes that car, then it's the Lamborghini that takes the title. Yep. Because Daniel Serra is still in fifth position. But Michelle Gatting is soaking up this pressure at this stage. She so has to. All they can do is win the race. Exactly. Can't do anything about the fact that Daniel Serra is in a championship winning position behind. Cool racing ready for Melty Jakobsen. Six and a half minutes to go. It'll be a rapid pit stop. So Jakobsen in from the lead. He's in. Also expecting Paul De Resta He's to in. make a stop. Ben Viscal likely to. Uh, goes through, I think. OK. Goes through to take the lead. Duquesne team through. But I'm sure they have to stop. Nielsen Racing's leading car in, as uh, second place car in LMP2 Pro and the hands of Nick Yellowley. They... Uh, they pit as well. OK, so if Nick Yellily is in, then Fiscal will be in next time around because they've done pretty much the same stint length. Well, the key thing here is who has pitted and rejoined, and the answer is AO by TF have done so. Pretty certain Melty Jakobsen is still ahead of Louis Delatraz. Ferdy Habsburg is behind Louis Delatraz and ahead of Tom Dillman. And Dillman is just a second back. All of that's got championship implications. So, remember, you can, we think, discount Bent Viscar's car, number 177, as the race leader. Also expecting James Allen in his Duquesne car to come down pit road. Let's just see how far into his stint he is. I don't Allen, know, I, I don't know about a glass of port there. after this one for... Uh, for <laughs> a full uh, bottle. For uh, Eduardo Freitas. I think he will be chugging the whole bottle. The only thing that could make it more frenetic in race control is either a fire or a wild animal being released in there but uh, it's astonishing that they've kept it on the island here now Matthias Besch. Besch under investigation track limits could that settle it surely not what a shame we did say he was on his last life he'd done four you get three as freebies then a warning and the very next time you breach track limits that could be it They've obviously received a report in the stewards' room of the 29 car leaving the track, and it's in the pit lane, though, now as well. Matthias Besch taking a last-ditch pit stop. So 77 pits from the lead in LMP2 Pro-Am from second place in LMP2 Pro-Am. So two pits the Richard Mille by TDS car. Algar Pro Racing lead Pro-Am. Four minutes to go. Surely they've got a pit. Alex Quitt. James Allen leads the race for Duquesne. Does. Should pit must need to pit Alex Quinn do they need to pit off again Algar Pro Racing pulled off an absolute blinder in terms of strategy it's a drive through penalty for car 29 Yeah. there we are folks that should decide it in the favour of the 83 crew AF Corsa but we're under four minutes to go Algar Pro are leading the race if they can get to the flag they win the championship They win the LMP2 Pro Am in car 20. When did Alex Quinn last make a stop? 29 laps. Most have been doing 28. So he's already done 29. Bent Viscalo did a 29 lap stint. Had to come in. Three minutes to go. We might get our answer this time around from Alex Quinn. Do they just stay out and hope for the best? Duquesne, Duquesne are expecting James Allen in. What about APR? Have they pulled off an absolute blinder here? Has he been in fuel save? That's the reaction from Cool Racing. They take the lead. They take the lead ahead of uh, Gail Junior. Well, they would have been worried, can Duquesne get there? No, is the answer. Through to take the lead. 
with under three minutes to go goes Melty Jakobsen in the 37 car topsy-turvy season from them Louis Delatraz is how far behind 3.6 seconds and under pressure from Ferdi Habsburg in the 47 cool racing car so at the moment two cool racing cars on the overall podium Tom Dillman is 1.5 seconds back from Louis Delatraz that could have championship implications if they can make it APR Steph did he say will or will not pit I did I miss him. will not pit wow <laughs> So they're set, if they can stay out, and they've made this fuel window extended. They started on 78, they'll move to 103. The best that 83 can do at the moment is a fourth place finish for which you get 12, and that's 95 points. It's a, it would be a PR. How have they done that? Algarve Pro Racing, a massive fuel save, you have to think. A minute and 45 seconds left on the clock. Still no change at the head of the order in LM GT3, by the way. So Michelle Gatting's been driven, driving absolutely perfectly, point, point by point. Well, could it be, then, back-to-back -back LMP2 titles, one in the overall and then in Pro-Am for Algar Pro Racing? Car 29, five seconds, ten time penalty for contact with Car 83. So it's had the, the uh, two penalties applied now. So TDS, I'm afraid plummeting as a result of that one minute to go it's the final lap of the race is there going to be a lunge here from the Lamborghini I can't see it I can't see them doing that Melty Jakobsen 3.6 seconds ahead he's where is Melty Jakobsen on track there he is at turn 5 but AO by TF on routes at the moment to the title. LMP2 Pro-Am, inconceivably, Algar Pro Racing, seventh place overall for Alex Quinn, if he can get that home on fumes. LMP3, RLRM Sports, pulled away Gael Julien. What a drive from him, but it will be a, a cool racing, a double win for them with Emmanuel uh, Spirito Santo taking the win. And in LMGT3, Iron Dames looks set to win this race, but it would be Kessel Racing taking the title. Astonishing race. It is the last lap for the race leader, who is now at turn 13, heading through Sagresh. And a win for Cool Racing and Malta Jakobsen for this one-off event. Everyone in the Cool Racing garage has shot off. Lamborghini up the inside. The Lamborghini's taken the lead. Incredible. It's going to be Lamborghini to take the win. And the title with a pass in the final corner. Absolutely astonishing. And he knew all about where the race leader was, surely, be able to lock that in. And that's the Lamborghini of Iron Lynx with the Iron Dames uh, fighting with the Iron Dames. But as the pass was made by the overall race leader, Andrea Caldarelli spotted the opportunity and wins the LMGT3 category, scoring seven more points than the Iron Dames and most crucially outscoring Kessel Racing's Daniel Serra and the 57 crew who could not get any higher than fifth position. That's what it means to Cool Racing. They had a great day earlier on in the Michelin Le Mans Cup and now they've won the final race of the season with Malta Jakobsen together with Lorenzo Fluxa and Ritoma Miata. What, amazing. What an amazing end to this season, Johnny Palmer. Was that, was that Andrea Caldarelli's plan all along? What just sit here? Did they let, let him go? We've got to ask the question, did they let him go? There is a family connection there with the Iron Lynx Iron Dames effort, and it's the difference between a title or no title. Did they let them go? It's true. And we, I, may, we may never know. I, you know what? I wouldn't have a problem with that, to be honest with you. That is fair game. Yeah. They, they battled away to earn that opportunity. There was no title coming the way of the Iron Dames if it stayed like that. There was a European title coming the way. And by the way, let's not forget a Le Mans entry coming the way of Iron Lynx for that. Yes. So, so you sit in formation, hope that the race goes in a different direction. And then when it hasn't done, the change right at the last corner. And they will have known entirely where the 37 car was in relation to those GT3 leaders.
but Cool Racing loving their day. They've taken a title in the Le Mans Cup and they've taken the final winner of the season in the European Le Mans series. Well, well, well. Now, Bent Viscal ended up winning the LMP2 Pro-Am division. So what did that do to Algarve Pro Racing's opportunity? Was second place enough? I'm not sure it was. Oh, now they need to do that one, don't we? <laughs> I need about a week here to fully assess precisely what's gone on. Right, so LMP2 nope, Pro-Am teams. I think it's teams. AF. I think it's AF. AF Corsa finished fourth with 12 points, 98 points to AF Corsa. Yeah. Um, Algarve Pro Racing finished second with 18. It's it's gone to AF Corsa. <laughs> and where did that happen? Proton competition passed the car on the final lap. He was out of fuel. Alex Quinn was out of fuel. Well, I did say couldn't, couldn't defend it. I did say I wondered whether Algarve Pro Racing were just throwing all the dice, well, and if it didn't quite why wouldn't work, you? Well, exactly. Well, 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 amazing stuff. What a race. What a championship. What a formula. It is. It just works perfectly with this amount of races but because it provides so many different ways we could finish in the sixth race of the year. But remember, Johnny, endurance racing is boring. Oh, I hate it. <laughs> I've just, you know, not enjoyed this day at all. I mean, I've got a stinking cold. But actually, this, these two races have made me totally forget about that because it takes basically all my brain capacity to try and work what on earth is going on. Here was the moment where the Lamborghini down the inside of the Porsche to take the position. Michel Gatting hadn't actually made that error all the way through the stint. Mm, that was too easy. Uh, I've got no quibble with it, none whatsoever. So let's just sum this up. Race winner, Cool Racing's 37 car, uh, Malta Jakobsen, uh, Ritomo uh, Miata and 